West Ham missed the chance to pick up their first Premier League win since October after being held to a two-all draw by relegation-threatened rivals Leeds United at Ellen Road on Wednesday evening. Wilfred Gnotto gave Leeds a first-half lead before Lucas Paqueta equalised from the spot after Jared Bowen was fouled in the penalty area by Robin Koch. West Ham took the lead inside the opening minute for the second half when Gianluca Scamacca smashed the ball and scored his first away Premier League goal only for Rodrigo to level midway through the second half. Today we're going through the five things we learned from the Leeds and West Ham 2 all draw and first up we are going to go with the Kira Tilo Kira experiment. Yes, there is an experiment. Left back is a position that many fans have been calling for improvements on. Relying year on year with the reliable Creswell will eventually take its toll. Ben Johnson, Vladimir Sifal and now Tilo Kira have been benched for the first time in the league since his £10 million switch from PSG against Brentford was recalled and started at left back and it was a woeful performance. By half, by half time he had lost possession 11 times and the American international Brendan Aronson was having a field day against him despite being left footed. He tend to use his right more often than not. Um, which got him into more trouble than it did. Early on, a poor back pass from put Rodrigo through on goal and everything he attempted to do just would not go his way. He was then moved to right back when Safal came off, but hardly any real improvement there. Not one to look back on with much joy. The Kira experiment did not work and we simply need to keep him in one role and one role only. Next up, the Aguerd difference. One of our big summer signings made his full Premier League debut at centre-back and that was £30 million summer signing Naif Aguerd, whose debut season has been largely hampered by many injuries. Many, including us at the network, have commented on how we think he can be a game-changer, and we still believe he will be. And to think that we are in January and he's only just made his full debut, he will get better with time, and with the impending return of Zuma, surely this can be a bonus for West Ham. He was largely pleasing, but for both goals, he and Dawson got caught out. Some could say it was more Dawson's fault. On the ball, he did look good, and as he, he did show his natural defensive instincts, he got away with one missed header in the first half, as Leeds did miss out on a chance to make West Ham pay, and he was a lot better in the second half. Next up, Declan Rice needs support. I've been calling on a partnership of Rice and Paqueta for some time. I've even said that we don't need two defensive midfielders in the team, but this game taught me otherwise. Even though Rice gave a fantastic performance, he was overrun in the midfield. The gaps opening up deep in our half were clear to see, and Rice needed that support. Gnonto from Leeds had a field day as there was big gaps opening up beside Rice. He found himself in the wars inside 10 minutes when getting kicked to the neck from Rodrigo. That drew blood. He found himself doing well moving the ball forward, sitting the deepest of the midfield three. He had three long shots to score, but none of them came close to testing the keeper. He was beaten easily to, by substitute Jack Harrison in the build-up to Rodrigo's leveller, which probably would have been eradicated if he had some support beside him. He created one chance with a fizz and pass, but substitute Saeed Ben Rama turned it wide. Next up, Suchek is droppable. For some time, fans have said and felt that Suchek was undroppable because David Moyes fancied him too much. And we all got a shock when the team sheet was announced versus Brentford that he was rested on the bench, but was quickly recalled and back to partner Declan Rice in midfield. However, in the game, Suchek appeared to be the most attacking of the midfield three. All in all, I thought he performed reasonably well in his more advanced role, but I can't help but think Flynn Downs could be a breath of fresh air to support the midfield duo of Rice and Paqueta. A few early crosses went his way in the first half, but he could not meet them. He did score, but it was well offside. Next up, and last but not least, Pablo Fornals. What an important player for West Ham. Another player that fans have been calling for to play, and many said it was unfair that he was dropped. Fornals being in our team yesterday added that much-needed grit in the team, that determination, that drive to win the ball back. He bridges the gap between the midfield and the striker. You could clearly see that in the game. He went into the World Cup break in good form in front of goal with three goals in his last two competitive starts and found himself back in the starting 11 ahead of this season's top scorer in the Premier League, Saeed Ben Rama. He ran his socks off, battled for every single ball and popped up into good attacking areas. He created one half chance for Paqueta 
but the Brazilian could not get his shot off. And there you go. What do you think on the five things we learned from Leeds versus West Ham, the 2-0 draw? Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Subscribe to the channel. Come on, you irons.